protests on this so-called Moral Monday that really called for a lot more money. Protesters saying that the rich are getting away with financial and political murder and they should pay up or they just will not shut up to Dr. Ben Carson right now. Doctor, you see this. How did Republicans respond? I heard from a couple of very rich folks who, who don't like them be, themselves being vilified, but how did Republicans take on this issue? What do you, what do you say? Well, I think we have to emphasize fairness. Um, the tax plan that, uh, that I've put forth, the uh, one that Donald Trump has put forth, and several of the other Republicans, includes fairness to everyone across the spectrum. And uh, actually, it is true that with the current system that we have now, a lot of very wealthy people do not uh, pay uh, a large amount. The ones who don't look for all these loopholes and things, they pay an incredible amount of taxes, the top 1% paying 37% of the taxes. Uh, but what we want is something that's simple, simple and fair. And, you know, Mr. Trump got in a little trouble this weekend when he said, you know, he would re consider raising taxes on the very rich. What he was actually saying is that he wants to lower taxes for everybody, but he knows that there are a bunch of people in Congress who have a socialist redistributionist uh, bent. And if it comes to not having tax reform or sacrificing the very top people, he would be willing to at least well, consider that. who are those that. top what people, saying. doctor? What, what, what was he talking about? Uh, people like hedge fund managers who, who make 100 or $200 million a year. Uh, I personally uh, think that we should be just equally fair to everybody proportionately across the board. But, uh, you know, but in other words, Doctor, the fact ideal... that he, he, in his plan, talks about a top rate of 25%, was he signaling that it would go higher than that or higher than the 39.6% it is now? People were confused. No. No, no, it would be lower than it is now under okay. any circumstance. Do you but think clearly, that stuff like we that, we want though, to doctor, be fair to everybody. I'm sorry, sir, but stuff like that, the switch on the minimum wage, that he's open to it being higher, um, what he has said about refinancing debt that could, could call our, our financial stability to question or lead to a default, that, that, that he has not really uh, thought this out, or at the very least, he's giving some conservatives pause that maybe he isn't the same guy who was running in the primary race. Well, first of all, they have to compare whatever they think he said against what Hillary said and recognize with the minimum wage things. Uh, he's, he's sympathizing with people, recognizing that the minimum wage has not kept up right. with the cost of living. Um, but, but in, your first, debate, doctor, in he, your first debate, he, he said he didn't want that wage to go up because it would hurt jobs. And it will hurt jobs, and he understands that. Right. Also understands that the minimum wage is an entry-level wage. It's not a sustaining wage. And if you raise it too high, you're going to de devastate people, particularly young people, who are trying to get into the job market. He knows that. Do you think he has to come out and answer what's happened with this North Carolina uh, transgender bathroom issue? North Carolina is suing the government. The government, Justice Department, more to the point, suing North Carolina yeah. over the interpretation of who should go into a men's room, who should go into sure. a women's room. How should Republicans respond? How should he, as the party's standard bearer, respond? Well, what he has said, uh, rightly so, is that it's a civil issue that should be handled at the state level. That's the very same thing that the framers of our Constitution felt. And what has happened here, they, they tried to handle it at the state level, but the feds have stepped in. They've overstepped their boundaries and have appropriately been sued by the state. Uh, you know, we need to go back to recognizing data and science. You know, we know what men are and we know what women are. and We've known that for thousands of years. You know, if, if there are some people who are confused about it, we can make some accommodations for them, but it doesn't have to involve everybody. But to compare this as the Justice Department just did, Laura Edelman saying it's like the Jim Crow, Crow laws thrown back in our face. You say what? Yeah, that's what they always say. Everything is like Jim Crow. Everything is like racism and segregation and slavery. What a bunch of crap. You know, they want to do that so that they can always gain the sympathy. But thinking people know better. Dr. Ben Carson, thank you very much. Good catching up with you again. Thank you.